Hello friends, welcome to Pioneer of Success. Today we are going to add another video in the miscellaneous series and today's topic of discussion is modeling porous media flow using mathematics module. Sometimes we utilize mathematics module to get one desired differential equation. There might be numerous reasons and the possible reasons are either we don't have other module and we have to manage uh, with this mathematics module or it is easier to comprehend the equation if we utilize this module or we have better control over the governed equation. So we have taken one example that is porous media flow which is given by the flow field is given by this u, ve u vector in two dimension uh, which is having the x directional component and y directional component as uh, u and v and the equation for the flow of u and v components are given as minus kp gradient of pressure along x direction and v is equal to minus kp gradient of pressure along y direction. So here kp is a constant which is given by this expression epsilon p a square by 8, me, 8 eta. So here epsilon p is the porosity of the medium, a is the average pore radius of the pores, available pores and eta is the viscosity of the liquid flowing through the porous medium. So we have uh, for a physical system we can actually quantify all those parameters and from there we can quantify this kp value and the pressure gradient will depend on the way we apply pressure across this porous media. So we are going to model this particular case in COMSOL and for that what we do, we go to model wizard as this is a 2D problem, we click on 2D and then we'll go ahead with the mathematics module. So here is the mathematics module. So we take, there are multiple equations, we take general form PD because this equation is easier to convert into the desired equation and then we click on study. So for this case we don't have any time dependent option so we go ahead with the stationary one and then uh, you can see all the equations all the modules we have only one module here is embedded in the model builder window here is the setting window and we have a graphics, graphics window. So initially we take the geometry uh, we will work in the domain of millimeters, so we convert the unit into mm and then we right click on geometry, we take one rectangle and say the height of the rectangle is say 3 mm and the width say it is 6 mm. We click on build selected, so we have chosen our desired solution domain. Now we look at the equation general form PD. So here is the equation. If you click here, you can see the equation. So we have to convert this basic equation into our desired equation. Uh, before we do that, we have to embed all the parameters which we have shown in this presentation file. So here you can see uh, we have to determine the Kp. For determining Kp, we need those physical parameters, porosity, viscosity and average pore radius. So let us define them on parameter section. So we go here. So we define say A. A is the porosity average pore diameter which is 10 micrometer. So within box bracket we can define UM. UM means micrometer. Then we need epsilon P. We can write EPS underscore P and this epsilon p is say 0 0.6 for this particular case we also need eta eta is the viscosity which is 1 e minus 3 the unit is pascal into second so we can write pascal into second within box bracket and then all the, the parameters which are required are defined now we calculate the value of Kp, so we write Kp, uh, this is equal to, so you can see the equation once again, so Kp is equal to epsilon p a square by 8 mu, so we define it, so epsilon eps underscore p, 
into a square a to the power 2 we keep it within a parenthesis and then we divide it by 8 mu so 8 multiplied by it is not mu here it is eta the viscosity so 8 into eta so this is the kp the unit uh, which is coming is meter cube second by kg now we will go to the expression for u and v as you can see here we have determined we we have written the expressions for x component velocity u and y component velocity v we can define it in this particular definition section so we right click take the option variable here and we define say u underscore say pressure driven so u underscore p which is equal to minus kp into px one thing here i would like to tell so we have not yet defined what is p so in in this step we will simultaneously define the p variable so you can see here it is showing an error error in yellow because if i just hover here you will see it is showing unknown variable px why it is unknown because we have not define the variable p so we go to the general form pd so we come down in the setting window there is one option dependent variable we expand it and we change the name from u to p by default it was u so we change it to p because we are solving for the pressure here so after we solve this particular differential equation we will be able to see the pressure profile for this particular domain and also the velocity profile for this particular domain and this domain is a porous media through which a flow is happening okay so at this stage we have to define this uh, constants this units also because as we are dealing with p so our variable is p so the unit would be pascal by default no unit is chosen so we define it as pascal and the source term f it will be 1 by second just to match the units I will show here so once I do that in the variable section you can see there is no yellow error anymore that means now the variable px which is nothing but the gradient of p along x direction so p is known so it can calculate the gradient along uh, x direction now calculating vp that means the velocity along p direction uh, velocity along a uh, y direction which is equal to minus kp into py so this way you can see the velocities have been calculated and it is also matching the unit you can see here the calculated unit is coming meter per second so everything has defined uh, and everything is all right now we convert we come to the equation and we do the rest of the things so here you can see by default this convective term so here what we have in the equation we have a divergence of a convective term is equal to f so here the convective term would be the u and v so where from these things are coming what exactly we are solving we are basically trying to solve this particular equation which is nothing but the continuity equation that is divergence of u is zero so we have already uh, we have to make other things zero so as you can see in this equation the right hand side is zero so we also try to manipulate the variables the variables means now we go to the equation here you can see da and everything is zero there is no damping coefficient f is zero because we are equating it to the continuity equation and continuity equation is divergence of u is zero so we will define the u here by default it is chosen ux that is x directional velocity and uy but in our case we have defined ux as up as we have defined in the variable section and this guy is v underscore p so now the velocities are well defined you can see there is no error it is asking for a variable which has meter per second unit 
we have defined it so and what is up and vp that has already defined in the variable section so we are basically now okay we are basically now done with the continuity equation in terms of up and vp and in the expression of up and vp we have the pressure expression again i go to variable just to remind you again so up and vp is coming from the pressure gradient so if we solve it we'll have the variable p will have solution for the variable up and vp now let us define the boundary conditions say we right click here click on dirichlet boundary condition it is asking for the pressure so i take left hand side and put some pressure here so this pressure is say 5 pascal and we again right click take another dirichlet boundary condition we put this part here and let us this part is get that atmospheric pressure so left hand side has a higher pressure right hand side has a lower pressure in the middle we have pores and through which the fluids is flowing and we want to see due to this 5 pascal pressure how the flow and pressure profile looks so i guess all the things are defined here yes so we can go ahead with the meshing it's a physics controlled mesh we click on build all you can see the mesh is not good it is normal uh, we can go ahead with finer or extra fine just for the learning purpose this much meshing is done okay otherwise it will take longer time then we go to the stationary uh, study and click on compute i guess all the things are defined perfectly yeah so you can see we have actually solution for after solving by default it is giving for the solution p now we can we want to see how the flow profile looks like so we write u underscore p and we plot so this is how the up profile looks like let's see how the vp profile looks like so vp looks like here you can see there are i mean gradual low low velocity zone and high velocity zone it is happening because there are multiple pores in this solution domain and the fluid is only flowing through the pores and the rest of the zones are not having fluid and that is why you are getting this kind of velocity profile here so it was just to let you know how you utilize mathematics module to define porous media flow i hope this video will help you uh, if so, I uh, request you to kindly share this video with your peers. Uh, we stop here. We will come with uh, further videos. Thank you.